Hey everyone, welcome to Sweet and Savory Treats and happy holidays first of all. This is the time um, for joy and everything. So today is actually Christmas Eve um, and tomorrow's Christmas morning. So technically I can say Merry Christmas to all of you. So um, hopefully you guys are enjoying your holidays and this time of year is very fun for my family because I like to cook dinner um, every year for my family. So today's going to be a very special video because I'm going to show you how to make something. Ground cinnamon, two teaspoons. And last but not least, you're going to need ground nutmeg. And make sure to use not a lot of this. So you're going to need about half a teaspoon. Okay, now you're just going to mix this all together. Next, you're going to need a larger bowl and you're going to beat four eggs. And um, I forgot to mention, but these are um, all the ingredients that I'm using are going to make two pies. So if you guys want one pie, then just um, half, or split and half all these measurements. So you'd only need two eggs if you're going to make one pie. Those of you that want to use fresh pumpkins to make the um, puree for the um, main pumpkin pie, um, you guys can. You'll need two pumpkins, like um, sugar pie pumpkins that are about like this big. If you don't want to and you want to use puree, I'm using puree because it's much easier than cutting the pumpkin and taking the seeds out and then blending it together. So I'm just going to use um, pumpkin puree. So we're just going to pour that in and you're going to need a spatula because you're going to want to... It's kind of thick right now. Okay, so this is the pumpkin puree. I just took it out of the can. Next we're going to add the eggs. Sugar spice mixes. It smells really good, like ginger and cinnamon, it's all mixed together. Okay, so now we're gonna mix this together, and for the evaporated milk, we're gonna need two cans, and um, this is again for two pies, so you only need one can if you're gonna make for one pie. But this, you're gonna gradually um, add in your mixture. A little bit of the evaporated milk. Stir. And then pour some more milk. We don't want the batter to get too um, liquidy, so we have to pour it in gradually. Okay, so like I said, this um, batter makes two pies, so I've already filled one as you can see, and I'm just going to fill the other one. And pumpkin pies are usually, well, any pies are filled all the way to the top. So just make sure. So I finished filling both of these pies, and I'm just going to put them in the oven. So make sure to preheat your oven for, uh, at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, reduce the temperature to 325 degrees and bake them for about 40 to 50 minutes. Okay, so. Um, the product, the final product is here and I took the pumpkin pie out of the oven and let it cool for about 5 to 10 minutes. And it's looking very good so I'm happy that it turned out great. So now I'm just going to cut it into slices and I actually made homemade whipping cream. Okay, so I'm going to taste test this, which I've been dying to do. So let's take a little bit of the whipped cream. It has like it tastes like it tastes like pumpkin pie, so it's really good. I love the whipped cream, like the homemade whipped cream makes the pie taste even better. So yeah, um, I'm excited. I'm excited for my family to try this, and now I'm just gonna show you some footage of the dinner that we had. And yeah, um, make sure to like and subscribe to my videos, and bye. So this is the uh, five course meal I was talking to you guys about. So um, so this is the salad, 
I made it, and this is the dressing, it's homemade dressing. Um, some peanuts for the side, some pepper, some um, extra spicy seasoning, just seasoning and pepper and red chili pepper. Some tomato soup, it's actually called Tuscan tomato soup. Tastes really good. Some mashed potatoes and gravy, and we're vegetarians, if I didn't mention. So this is actually vegetarian gravy, and it's really good. So mashed potatoes, the best. Some lovely pasta. It's red and white mixed, but it's pasta, which tastes good. And last but not least, pumpkin pie. And this is the video filming of the pumpkin pie. It turned out really great. Um, okay, bye.